concurrent lines of a triangle. There are four different types of the concurrent lines. Let's see each of them in detail. First is the median. Median is a line which connects one of the vertices of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Let's take a triangle ABC and mark the center of BC. Let this point be X. Now when you join X to the opposite vertex which is A, what we get is the median AX. In a similar manner, we can mark the midpoint of AC to be Y and join the opposite vertex B. So BY becomes the other median. In the same way, if Z is the midpoint of AB, then ZC becomes the third median. An important point to note here is that every median divides the triangle into two equal halves, which means the two divided triangles are of equal area. And these three medians are concurrent, which means they intersect at a single point. Let's name it G. And this point is called as the centroid of the triangle. One more interesting point to note here is that the centroid divides each of the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. Let's see what that means. Consider the median AX. Here, the centroid G will divide this median in the ratio 2 is to 1. In simple words, we can say AG is twice the length of GX. In the same way, BG is twice the length of GY. And CG is twice the length of GZ. Now we'll move on to the next set of concurrent lines. Perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors are lines which bisects the sides of the triangle and is perpendicular to it. Let's consider the triangle ABC. We'll mark the midpoint of BC as X. Now the perpendicular bisector of BC is a line which is at 90 degrees to BC and passes through X. Let's name this line L1. What's interesting to note here is that the perpendicular bisector of the side need not pass the opposite vertex. In a similar manner, we'll mark the midpoint of AC as Y and draw a line perpendicular to AC passing through Y. This line will be L2. In the same way, let's mark the midpoint of AB as Z and the perpendicular bisector will be L3. Since all these lines are also concurrent, they meet at a single point, S. This point is called as the circumcenter. This circumcenter is equally distant from all the vertices A, B and C, which means that SA is equal to SB is equal to SC. Using this, we can draw the circumcircle of the triangle with S as the center and SA or SB or SC as the radius. Let's draw a circle. We can find that this circle touches all the vertices A, B and C and it is called as the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. Also, SA, SB and SC are called the circumradius of the triangle. Now let's consider some special conditions. Let's draw the perpendicular bisectors of a right angle triangle. The point of intersection of these bisectors fall on the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So let's remember that in a right angle triangle, always the circumcenter will be at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Let's see what happens in this triangle. The circumcenter falls outside the triangle. This is the case in all obtuse angle triangles. The circumcenter will always be outside the triangle. With that, we move on to 
angle bisectors an angle bisector is a line which divides the angle into two equal halves let's consider our triangle abc it has three angles angle a angle b and angle c that means we would have three angle bisectors before getting started let's learn how to draw an angle bisector we shall construct an angle bisector for angle a as a first step with a as a center and any radius draw an arc such that it cuts both the sides let's name these intersecting points as p and q next with p as the center and any radius draw a small arc now without changing the radius and q as the center draw another arc intersecting the previous arc let this point of intersection be r now draw a line connecting a and r this will be the angle bisector for angle a now that we know how to construct the angle bisector let us draw the angle bisectors for our triangle abc let the angle bisector of angle a b a x the angle bisector for angle b will be b y and that for angle c will become c z then we note that all the three angle bisectors intersect at a single point let's name this point i and this point is called as the in center of the triangle using this in center we can draw the in circle of a triangle if you want to know how to draw the in circle let me know in the comment section below also an important point to note here is the in center will always lie inside the triangle finally let's move on to altitudes the altitude of a triangle is a perpendicular line drawn from one of the sides to the opposite vertex now let's consider our triangle abc now we'll construct the altitudes ax by and cz again we find that these three altitudes are intersecting at a single point let's mark this point as o and this point o is called the ortho center of the triangle just like the in center the position of the ortho center also varies according to the type of the triangle for example in a right angle triangle the ortho center will always be at the vertex of the right angle in an acute angle triangle the ortho center will be inside the triangle and in an obtuse angled triangle the ortho center will be outside the triangle with that we have come to the end of the session if you found this video useful give it a like and share it with your friends thanks for watching